Hi guys, welcome. Today we will be painting these beautiful bags using watercolors. So I have drawn out these bags and inked them with Indian ink and now I'm going to color my first one using um, orange for the saddle. So after applying paint you just need to take a little bit of water uh, to uh, brush it down. So this way you get a darker shade on one side and a little lighter on the other which uh, gives it a very beautiful effect. While it's still wet, I'm adding some red right now, which is the next darker shade on it to give it some shadow and uh, bring it to a life. Now, I'm using some Viridian Hue to create the satchel. You'll notice how I'm creating a very light color first and then slightly using a darker shade to add in, in some of the areas which will require um, darker color. So now how do you decide which sides are darker and which have to be lighter? Just keep a bag in front of you, observe how light falls on it and that is uh, how you will know how um, certain areas will be lighter and certain areas will be darker. So for the hobo bag, I am using a similar technique, uh, going ahead first with a little bit of mustard or yellow ochre and then um, leaving it in just some areas. You don't always need to have multiple uh, layering done. For the doctor bag, I am using um, a very light brown first, uh, using water to just blend in those areas which are slightly um, patchy, using now a little bit of darker colors um, in the areas where there are bends, in the areas which have some uh, layering on top uh, or some folds to give it a slightly um, realistic effect. I find this whole process very enjoyable um, when I create the drawing first and then I just have to fill in the colors using uh, uh, watercolors. It is extremely therapeutic. Maybe try this out and see how it feels for you. There is also another way that you can do this where um, you can just paint the shape of the bag first directly without drawing it and then ink it. So that's also called as the ink and watercolor technique which I do it um, quite often. So I'll also be uh, putting up a lot of tutorials about that. You can even check on my Instagram page for a lot more of these kind of things which might give you a lot of ideas. It will help you to create a lot of different kinds of paintings. For this last envelope clutch I'm going to color them using um, multiple shades because uh, these clutches are really fun to see and hold so each section is going to have a different color. Now that everything has painted and the hobo bag has dried I feel like it requires a little bit more uh, of shading to give it some realistic look so I'm taking a little darker um, hue of this yellow ochre with brown to finish this. I hope you had a great time today watching this tutorial with me. If you do end up creating any of these, you can tag me on Instagram so I'll be able to see what you've done. Thank you.